Now we are ready for some gears. I'll clean this area up good as well. There's actually a gasket that goes on here. Now we've got a couple gears here that we're gonna to put together. First you wanna put this plate on here. Make sure this plate goes on before you try and put the, uh, the gears on or you'll never get that plate on. That, this plate is um, necessary. It's a holder for that camshaft, make sure it doesn't slide too far out. Um, and then it's also a holder for the uh, crankshaft balancer. I like to, these bolts need a thread lock on there. And that is, if these bolts come out, all these gears are turned, if they even start coming out, don't need that much. Um, it will it will cause some serious damage. So make sure you've got thread lock on there. T30 and they're tapered, so it'll kind of center that plate. But don't torque them all down until you get them. Get them all in there. Now these are very small bolts, so don't over torque these. If you got thread lock on there, they're not going to come out. So snug them up good. There's really only two bolts in here on this motor that really have to be torqued. And I'll show you those when we get there. Okay, now we've got your counter shaft or your crankshaft uh, balancer gear here. We've got a cotter or a keeper right there, woodruff key. So make sure that's installed. I like to tip those slightly down so that when our gear slides on there, it kind of pushes into it and it'll actually level itself out, but you can't go too far that way. Now, it's crucial on these, you've got to have these um, marks lined up. So, no mark on the oil pump, which isn't always the case, so make sure your model is the same way. Some of the oil pumps have to be lined up. So this is a tapered gear here, and there is a mark on the outside that will need to be marked up matched up with the crank but also then you've got the the woodruff key there that needs to be matched up as well so I kind of ballpark it this dots there so the woodruff key is kind of facing a little bit down and then again these these gears are tapered so they're not going to be exactly they're not going to look perfectly lined up until you get them slid into place and then keep in mind the oil pump gear as well is tapered and then we've actually got to turn this slightly down. Sometimes you can hook that woodruff key, kind of turn it. You can see, nice thing is you can look kind of right down and see if that woodruff key is lined up. The bad part is it's really hard to get a hand in there or anything to turn that crank balancer. You almost have to pull that gear off of there. There we go. Okay, we're lined up there. Everything's seated. Make sure you can see that Woodruff key in there, and it's pushed everything down. And there's enough there's enough room with that crank balancer to allow that to go up and down like that. But when we get put our bolt in there, it will line things up. Thread lock on there. Once you do one of these motors once. You'll understand they're fairly easy as far as motors are concerned. Without having that transmission in there to worry about, it just makes it a whole lot easier. Watch your finger. Okay, now we're going to be in the position. We're gonna Right now we're going to have weight on that crank. I'm going to lift that crank up there. Or this crank case up. Spin this. You can look right down into your motor there. So next thing we're going to do, and your cam isn't, gear isn't on there yet, so there will be a little bit of added noise when you get that put on there. It also needs to be lined up. So I'm going to turn these, make sure, double check these are in the correct position. So those holes are, li or those dots are lined up there. I take, and this bolt is going to have a thread lock on it as well. 
So what I do then is take a, a, a round punch, specific for this hole size, push it in there as far as it can go. You've got a pin there that needs to line up with the camshaft. So first time you get it on there, you can kind of just play around with it and see where it's at. So it looks like this hole is slightly behind this one. And you want to line the, the camshaft up with the um, crank balancer. And you get it in the spot there and it'll just kind of fall in place. And then just use that, use that punch there to kind of push those gears into place and then those dots should line up. Now you can take your already Loctite bolt, slide it on there, make sure your washer is centered, it's kind of a spring washer. Okay, now we can pull this punch out of there. And those holes are um, kind of staying the same, obviously, since everything's lined up now.